I'm Dina. Welcome to Drive Train. It is sunny, so I'm actually going for a ride without arm warmers. How exciting. Today we're going to talk about how to find a coach. Uh, and there's two main things I want you to take from this. One, what do you want a coach for? And two, what kind of coach suits who you are? Because you're a person. You're not a petri dish. Um, not that I think you are, but I'm just saying, you are not a petri dish. Hi, I'm back. I promise I did go for the ride, but it was way too windy. So we are recording in like a little alcove in a secret garden somewhere in Ireland. And I'm here to remind you of the two points I said two seconds ago, as far as you're concerned, which are, one, you need to know firstly why you actually want a coach. That is your true north in business terms, kind of. Once you've worked that out, then you need to know what are the qualities that you need in a coach. What is she talking about, qualities of a coach? Well, I think you can kind of boil it down to a few buckets. So first one, expertise and knowledge, hard skills. Can they actually back up your training with an understanding of the science? And the skills, because actually it's not just science, it's also technique, it's also pacing, it's also strategy, blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? They know bike riding, basically. Do they know bike riding? Tick, okay. And how much do they need to know bike riding for you? Because that's a, that's a good question. Uh, it'll vary depending on what your goal is. Second thing, soft skills. Um, <laughs> again, it's up to you how much this matters to you, but I would say as a bare minimum, soft skills, communication. If you have a coach who cannot communicate, or then we have a problem problematic I would suggest especially if you're dealing with online or remote coaching or indeed you know whatever version of cycling coaching you have but I figure most coaches aren't out with you riding all the time so you need some sort of way of communicating how you're actually getting on and just your power data will not cut it for sure uh, and if it does wah, wah, but that's just my opinion um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I mean, this is coaching according to Dina, of course, I'm biased, but I'm giving you a framework. So, you know, work with the framework and, you know, you can ignore the sirens. Um, so you've got skills, hard skills, you've got soft skills. Uh, and within that, communication, boom, 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 really important. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm on my honkers. Uh, uh, oh, yes, the third thing bespoke. How bespoke? does your training need to be to you because it, it might, I mean it might not need to but you might want it to be quite focused on you know you who you are uh, what you can do when you're available um, and if you you know life happens you want a coach to be able to recognize that and adapt your training to it uh, you might not need that though and that's fine but but know how important that is to you and then you can use that to gauge whether or not a coach is right for you and the most important thing, number four, the coffee slash beer slash bike ride slash first date, maybe. Test, no, you don't need to date your coach, but you need to know if it's important for you to be able to, to you know, to go on a bike ride with your coach or, you know, go for beer or coffee. Uh, or whatever it is, you know, just like, do you want to be able to chat to that person and hang out with them? You might not, and then that's fine. But, but again, you need to know that, right? So once you've nailed your four things, roughly, uh, or whatever it is, um, then, only then, can you go out and search for coaches that might fit the bill. And you might find a unicorn coach who fits all of the things that you want to within your price range. And you might not, which is why it's important to also prioritize between the non-negotiables and the nice-to-haves. 
I like to help people. I find this kind of stuff interesting. So if you want to have a chat about just like coaching and how to find a coach, feel free to get in touch. Um, or, you know, just make use of the, the text down below because that obviously provides you with a structure. Um, I would recommend talking to a few coaches because, you know, coaches are like people. Well, <laughs> they are people. Whoa. Um, you know, and, you know, we don't like everyone. Well, I hope. Well, anyway, the point is it's it's a it's a relationship based thing for the most part so you know working out whether the relationship will work for you is super important to make it you know work for you because it needs to work for you it's all about you basically okay i think i'm done talking have a nice day